Hey folks, this is Kalani. It's Tuesday, which means we either get an update or we get an update about an update. So, it's a latter in this little video. So we've got some more information about, obviously, the patch which will hit next week. And it does include the return of the Super Adventure Box. And it's Back to School Edition. So, for all those folks heading back to school, make sure you've got your pens and pencils. Remember, don't lend your colouring crayons or pens to anyone or you won't get them back that's how it always worked in my school but nevertheless so prepare to get schooled the Surin genius Moto is back with his new and improved super adventure box this virtual reality simulator was designed to educate young Asura but anyone can enroll face new challenges and new enemies in world 2 or put your skills to the ultimate test with the aptly named tribulation mode so Continue your education in World 2, we get to see what happens after those rapids where we don't get interrupted by Moto. So, we've got a few extra things there. We can travel through the rapids, pain cliffs and storm top for a lethal final exam with the Storm Wizard. Sounds exciting! Need some study aids? Unlock all the items and upgrades to help you get ahead. So, sounds like we might get a few new items, which is really cool. Obviously that being items in the Super Adventure Box, not outside. Though hopefully we'll get a lot of those as well. And for advanced students, Tribulation Mode, to help teach resilience and non-linear thinking, Moto has created the ridiculously challenging Tribulation Mode for all zones in Worlds 1 and 2. Here students will learn that life isn't easy and neither is Tribulation Mode. So with the screenshot there, that looks like to be a lot of, a lot of spikes, let's be honest. A great deal of spikes. So I don't know if that's tribulation mode only, but obviously we're going to have a new hard factor there, which could be really, really cool. And obviously a developer live stream. Now the developer live stream is going to go live on the third, which would indeed be the Tuesday. So they seem to be doing the live stream as kind of an introduction base instead of a preview base, which is. Which is kind of cool. I like that. I, I, I don't like previews. I like to kind of get the patch, be really excited, see what I've got, and then kind of bash down, you know, have a go at it and see just exactly what I can do, which is a lot of a, a lot of fun. I don't like all these, these even though it, it's kind of ironic that I, I create the guides, but I don't like having a look at guides before I can have a bash at something, you know what I mean? Which is which is really cool. Which I, I would actually encourage everyone to to have a go at the content before looking at my videos, if at all possible. I know they are so tempting. But new rewards. Complete your super weapon set. Moto's prepared another round of fundraising with the rest of the super weapon skins. Trade in bubble bubbles to pick up stylish new looks for your weapons. Now we can see a super adventure axe there. That's kind of really cool. So hopefully we'll get a whole boatload of those. Now, King Toad and Storm Wizard weapons. In addition to offering the remaining Super Weapon skins, Moto is also encouraging Super Adventure Box players to show off their prowess by collecting the materials necessary for King Toad and Storm Wizard weapons. Now what we've got there is a bow, and that basically looks like an incredibly shiny version of the Super Adventure Box bow, which is super cool. That's really nice. And a mini Princess Mia. So collect a mini moto and elements of Princess Mia's outfit, combine them in the forge, and bask in the holo glow of your very own mini Princess Mia. Which is delightful, let's be honest. Now, down to new features, we start to get some really interesting stuff. Now, craft ascended weapons. The weaponsmith, artificer, and huntsman crafting disciplines have a new skill cap of 500. We're introducing new recipes and new materials to be found around the world. Craft your way to 500 to become a grandmaster crafter and learn the asp sorry, learn the secrets of crafting ascended weapons. So we've got a rifle there. Now, while that looks delightfully rainbow and cool, I can't wait to see the others. I, I really can't wait. Um, we'll get onto the how legendary will be affected in a little moment but this is really interesting I always assumed that they'd kind of roll out everything at once um, with taking things to 500 but obviously if you're a, an armor craft such as obviously armor crafting tailoring leather working but you go to 500 but don't have anything to make that's that's kind of weird and awkward so I'm glad they've actually done it like this um, instead of kind of putting it off until we get weapons and armor but 
that's going to be a lot of fun. Expect quite a few videos from me about the best ways to craft to 500. That's obviously uh, assuming I can find the best ways to craft to 500, but stay tuned for that. That's going to be an awesome patch. Now, legendary weapon updates. Legendary weapons are getting a stat boost and an offensive infusion slot to align with the new ascended weapons. Legendaries are also receiving additional functionality. When out of combat, legendary weapon bearers will be able to choose between different stat combinations for your weapon. And to top it all off, many legendaries are getting some aesthetic upgrades. So, you can see uh, Meteorologicus, I believe, if I said that right. It's got a bit of a pink purpley glow, um, as well as a few sparkles around. Now, that's kind of cool. Not really on par with the great swords, I'd have to say. Not quite yet. They're probably still up there as some of the nicest ones, but never mind. Some good functionality there, and obviously, uh, if basically if you have a legendary weapon, you're straight to an ascended weapon anyway. So, win-win. Now, this is another interesting thing. I didn't see think to see this this early, but I guess we are getting towards the end of 2013, which is kind of scary in itself, but never mind. Account-wide Magic Find. We're removing Magic Find as an equipment stat. Instead, any Magic Find will now be an account-wide bonus that applies to all of your characters. You can boost your account's Magic Find using Essences of Luck, which can be earned by salvaging fine or masterwork items. So I don't know about you, but personally I'm probably going to end up stockpiling fine and masterwork items for now, up until the patch, obviously on the 3rd and basically salvage them all at once to see kind of how many I can get. Um, I also expect prices to potentially rise for those for those items, for the fine and masterwork items. It does only say fine and masterwork, so I do wonder, A, if there's going to be uh, differences between levels of kind of... Will a level 10 drop the exact same essence of luck as a level 80? If so, that's going to be a bit ridiculous, but never mind. Um, the other thing is levels of these essences of luck. For example, will a level 10 give me plus 1%, whereas a level 80 would give me plus 2? Or, I don't know, I'm, I was just thinking about there, plus 5? But a plus 5% magic find for a single essence of luck seems ridiculous. So I guess that's probably going to be a damn sight lower than that. But I can't wait to see where this will go. And if they will actually cap that magic find, because if they don't cap that magic find, you're going to end up with a ridiculous amount. Additional to that, will these essences of luck be sellable, or will they be account bound? Too many questions, too many questions, but to answer the one you're asking, and I know you're asking right now, what happens to the magic find on my equipment? Now, I'm looking up at the top, and I think it's this tab, yeah, here we go. Hey all, no worries, we got you covered. Weapons, armor, and trinkets with magic find will become account bound, lose their current stats, and will gain the ability to be double clicked to select one of several stat options depending on the item. For example, if you have an explorer's pearl staff, you can now double click it to change it to any other crafting stat. We will have a blog post about it with more extensive information as well. Keep an eye on the website. So, that's obviously keep an eye on the website. I'll probably get that update to you as soon as I can. So, additional to that, we have another confirmation about celestial gear celestial will stay as it is minus the magic find bonus on it magic find food will work as it is working now and the utility infusion for magic find will still work so so there's that apart from that we just got some very shiny screenshots to look at now i believe in new Crichton this says i am shortcut eagle i will take you to different part of the level or something akin to that I can't quite remember the translation but so we've got another shortcut to find we've always got the new legendary there and the ascended rifle a nice boot I've seen that animation way too many times clicking scrolls of knowledge honestly the sab axe we've got mini Mia the nice bow now we've got what I assume is going to be a section of World 2 of the Super Adventure Box. We've got Tribulation Mode and another screenshot of... Oh. They're in a strange order, but the same thing we've looked at, let's be honest. We've seen through all of them, I believe, indeed. And obviously a very nice wallpaper for you to download and for me to use as a thumbnail background. 
excellent, excellent news. However, this does promise to be one of the largest updates we've had so far, except obviously for the champion loot change. But we're getting a, an addition to crafting. We're going up to 500 with Weaponsmith, Artificer and Huntsman. Cannot wait for that. That's going to be amazing. In case anyone wasn't fully aware, that also paves the way to create your precursors. Um, ArenaNet did say in a previous update that precursors would be craftable at 500. Um, but obviously we're not going to see that just yet. I'd expect everything to go to 500 and we already have ascended armor by then. And then they'll bring out the precursor crafting, which will be very interesting in itself. So, apart from that, I can only say that you're going to have to craft your way to 500, which means materials. Now, that's either going to be tier 5 or tier 6 materials. Uh, most likely tier 6, so you may want to consider stockpiling that. And obviously with Weaponsmith, Artifice and Huntsman, that means metal and wood. So... That's just a little thing to think about, I guess. I've stockpiled a considerable amount of tier 5 and tier 6 and Orichalcum and Ancient Wood. So, just in case you were wondering. Apart from that, we don't have a great deal left to talk about. So, if you have any questions, queries, theories, please do leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you hit like before you leave the video and you're not subscribed already. Maybe that's an idea. We're a crazy bunch, but with a good kind of crazy. So, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I'll see you next time.